Hello learners, welcome to my channel Slide Hunt. Today in this lesson we are going to learn attribute. So what is attribute? Attribute provides additional information about HTML element and it always be specified in the opening tag of the element. An attribute usually has two parts, a name and a value. And they can be written in this way. Attribute name equal to sign and then within double code write its value. Let's see an example. This is our heading element. We have already learned about heading in our previous tutorial in details. If you don't watch that video, please check the video description. I put the link there. Now in the opening head tag I used here align attribute. I write here align equal to center. Here align is the attribute name and center is the value of the attribute. All the HTML tags have some attributes with default values. If you don't want to change the default value then omit the attribute. For heading element default value is left align. If you want to change the position of the heading then you have to use the align attribute. Let's see a practical example. You can see here inside the body tag I used here a heading element and a paragraph element. Save it and open it to your web browser. You can see here by default the heading is placed to the left of the page. Now we want the heading will appear at the center of the page. For that we need to use here align attribute. I'm going to write here align equal to center. Save it. Refresh the web page. Now you can see the heading is placed to the center of the page. So align is an attribute of heading element and it has three values left, right and center. You can use any of these according to your need. There is another attribute named BG color. This attribute is used to change the background color of a web page. By default, web page background color is white. But using BG color attribute, you can change its color. Let's do it. BG color attribute is used with the body tag. So inside the opening body tag, I'm going to write here BG color equal to pink. Save this document. Now refresh the web page. And you can see here the background color is changed to pink. The next thing is if you want, you can add more than one attribute in a single tag. Let's see an example. Here I'm gonna add a HR tag. HR tag is used to add a horizontal line. Let's check the output. Save. Now refresh the web page. And you can see here a horizontal line is added here. Now I'm going to change the width of this line. For that I'm going to write here width equal to 50%. Save. Now replace the web page and you can see here width is decreased by half of its original size and by default it is placed to the center of the page. If you want you can change its position and color also. Let's see how to do it. To change its color I'm going to write a color equal to sky blue and to change its position I'm going to write here a line equal to right. Save the document. Now refresh the web page. And you can see here the color of this line is changed and the horizontal line is placed to the right of the page. There are many attributes in HTML and different attribute is used with different tags. We will learn all the attributes step by step in our upcoming lesson. Thank you for watching. I'll be back soon with another tutorial. Till then, take care and keep learning.